What's up YouTube? I wanted to make a, a video on how to use cushion grip. All right, now if you're a, a subscriber to this channel, this is not the type of content you're used to, but uh, you know, when I uh, did a lot of research and then after I actually started using the product, there's not a lot of good information on YouTube or really anywhere about how to use this stuff. Uh, it's not as complicated as people make it out to be. And uh, so as a truck driver, I'm in here, I don't have, even have access to a bathroom, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I use this stuff. And it's great stuff, it works fantastic, all right? So I've, I've been about a month and a half out from my extractions. Uh, and, you know, I'm on my second soft reline so the dentures are uh they're they're getting fairly loose you know what i mean i have cushion grip in right now and that's a lot of times i don't see anybody show you how to get it off and people think it's hard to get it off i thought it was going to be hard to get it off so this cushion gum that's in my dentures right now has been in there for a week not three or four days like everybody says it lasts three or four days this has been in here for a week okay so, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to probably just do the bottom because I'm not going to like add it or anything like that. I'm just going to show you how I use it uh, and talk about what I do with it. So, uh, when I, when I put the cushion gum, cushion grip in, if I get a little squeeze out, unless it's bothering me, I leave it because it's going to give me something to grab onto to pull this cushion grip out. So let's just go ahead and, and get with the bottom. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see, and I'm gonna pull this cushion grip out and you can see how easy it, it does. So here's the bottom, it's got cushion grip on it. I don't know if you can see, but there are some parts that overlap out of the denture, okay? And as you can see, there's not a whole lot in there, all right? Now what I will say is that you want a continuous line of it. You don't wanna just put a little blip here and there. And you don't have to put much, but you want a continuous line of it so you can pull it all out. So I'm just, just going to go ahead and straight out of my mouth. I haven't done anything with it, and we're going to pull it out. I'm just going to grab a little edge and pull it up. And you can even go over here. I'm going to go over here and start it this way, okay? Get a hold of it. You can see it's it's grabbing on it's staying in one piece all right now it works a little better if you let it cool off a little bit and don't do it straight out of your mouth but once you can can get it to start pulling up trying to get it to where you can watch it's easier if I'm watching it while it comes out you just start peeling it up and if you leave it in a continuous line like I said and also if you if you let it cool off a little more than I have it's a little easier because it's real pliable when it's warm but it, it just pulls up it just pulls right up all in one piece just take your time a little bit at a time If it's lapped over, you want to get those pieces let let to let go there. Now I'm going to get it from, I'm going to start getting it from the other side here.
little bitty area here that didn't really come out. And then there it is. That's it all came out in one piece. Okay? And that was not difficult, all right? And I didn't use any tools. All I used is my hands and my fingernails and bam. So now we're going to put some back in. And just make sure there's none around the edges left on here. Yeah, it all came up except for just a little piece here in the corner and I'm just going to leave it. It's not going to hurt anything, all right? Just a little piece right here that didn't really come out, but you know, I'm not going to fuss over it. So, next thing. Make a cup of coffee. I made this in my Keurig. It's just water because I already had my coffee this morning. Heated the water up. Take the cushion grip. Put it in the coffee. And then we're going to sit here and talk for a couple minutes. So, in the top, I'm just going to take it out. In the top, so my dentures, they, they're trying to push uh they're trying to push forward a little bit and, and it hurts the uh little place where the little bone goes in here so i know that mine need to be pushed back this way so when i put the cushion grip in there i put it around here and don't smush it so much into the front so that when i bite down it pushes the denture back so that it puts it into place and yours may need to go a different direction so just be conscious about where you put it so that uh it's doing it's it's shifting it in the direction that you want it to shift it you know what i mean uh now i've seen people who put it all over all this and they just have a whole huge layer of it in there so far i have not needed to do that i just put a, a line of it down here and when i when i'm up in this area i put it further this direction in the denture so that it pushes the denture back as I bite down and uh, you know it's been working good for me another thing that I do is so since I'm I'm not far out from my extractions I still have holes in there so after I use the cushion gum and I I get it in there and I hold it in there for several hours before I take the dentures out uh, it will have pieces of cushion gum that have pushed up into those holes and then I will take a pair of scissors and I will clip those off so that it's not making my gums eventually heal with these big holes in it I, I don't want cushion gum sticking down into the extraction sites so I clip that off and eventually it it starts to push up in there again because while you wear it it warms it up and it still continues to mold uh, even after a few days so you may have to even clip those a second time. But, uh, you know, that's just something that I try to stay aware of. Uh, where the cushion gum is pressing, it, pressing into the extraction sites. Sometimes There's been times when I've clipped it off a couple of times. Uh, and, you know, as far as, you know, they say, oh, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. They tell you all different time frames to push it, put it in the hot water. Okay, so I'm squeezing on it. It feels soft. I don't know how long has it been in there. A couple minutes, you know. A cup of coffee's nice and hot. They tell you use tap water, uh, hot tap water. Come on, man. You ain't gonna hurt nothing by getting it hotter. You know what I mean? So we'll put it in there for just another minute or so. It's probably fine to use now, but I like to get it nice and hot, and then uh, and then we'll put it in this bottom. Now, something to be aware of is it does sting. Like when you put it in, it'll, it's going to sting for, I don't know, three to five minutes, something like that. Don't be a pussy. It's not that bad. It's going to sting a little bit. It will stop. It's going to feel like it's sticking, like it's adhesive. Don't worry. It will stop doing that after about an hour or so. And then you want to wear it at least for a couple of hours before you take it out. And you want to do one at a time. Like I'll do the bottom one. I'll bite down, get it kind of where I want it, you know, let it sit there and fester and sting for a few minutes and then I will do the top uh, I'll do them one at a time 
and that's and the instructions tell you to do that you know what I mean but uh, I want to get the one kind of in place I don't want the cushion grip in both dentures at the same time and it end up making them slanted or off or something like that I want one to be dry and now I'll do the bottom and then once the bottom seats to pretty much where I want it then I'll take the top out and do the top now see while this is all heating this is all dry and ready to go you want it nice and dry we're gonna pull this cushion gum out now and uh, I'm gonna shift the camera again so I just take that just wipe it off with my shirt whatever all right we're gonna open that up and I'm gonna squeeze out a little dollop all right that's probably that might even be too much okay just a little bit it's not much you know a little bit more than pea size they tell you to do pea size but you know, I do a little bit more than pea size draw my hand off then I'm gonna roll it now you should know where you need more and where you need less in your denture all right I'm just gonna roll it out into a string and it'll it'll shrink up I'm gonna put it down in there see it shrunk up now I'm gonna press on it I'm gonna press on it with my finger and spread it out to the end now like I say you ought to know where you need more or less based on how your denture fits like if you're a dummy you know and you don't know then I don't know what to tell you just don't be a dummy all right put it in there press it in where you want it you know get it a nice good line all the way to the end or I don't quite do it all the way to the end because it's gonna it's gonna shift with the pressure in your mouth will shift it and you know my bottom sits in my mouth pretty good so I don't get too crazy about uh, putting too much or anything like that see I've just I pressed it all the way and spread it out with my finger and got a nice thin layer through that whole thing and they'll tell you let it sit five minutes and blah 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 you know they'll they'll tell you all these rules that you don't need just press it in there nice and thin the whole thing one continuous layer so it comes out in one piece once you get that done Bamboo put it in, bite down, and hold some pressure. So the pressure is because you want it to seat to seat with this top one. You might have to press if it's touching more in the front press down a little bit if it's touching more in the back press down a little bit try to get it even with that top and then I'm just gonna sit here with pressure on it for a few minutes and give it a chance I'm not biting super hard but I am biting down because I want that to to squish out and get flat and get set correctly. So now it's starting to sting a little bit. And that's okay.
and you ought to be able to feel it clack your teeth are they touching correctly if they're not bite in the opposite spot so that it evens it out like mine seem to be touching a little more in the front than the back so I'm putting more pressure on the front to even it out And that's it guys like it's it's stuck as if there's adhesive on it and I'll give that about five or ten minutes before I start to do the top and then once I do the top I will wear them for you know preferably four or five hours or more uh, and after I don't know a couple of hours uh, after a couple of hours they'll let go they won't feel like they're stuck to your gums anymore and I just like to let them cure a little longer than that. You can really take them out then. I've seen people say you need to always keep them in water. I don't keep mine. I, half the time I just have them sitting over here in the cup holder. Sometimes all night. You know, and I've also put them overnight in water. Either way, it doesn't really make a difference. The stuff will get hard and then you'll put it in the next day and it'll soften up as it warms up to your body temperature. And I, like I said, I left it in for a week. Uh, you can use adhesive with it. I'd also say that something that I couldn't find information on is whether you can use it with a soft liner. My dentures have a soft liner. You saw it just came right out. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, you know, I would do the top, but I don't wanna make this like a 30 minute video. Uh, it's, it's not rocket science, guys. You. You warm it up, get you a cup of coffee, nice hot water, warm it up till the tube feels squishy, squeeze out a little, you know, a little more, bit more than a pea size, roll it out, put it in there, and then smush it and smush it toward the back until it, you know, you get a nice even layer in there. Then put it in your mouth, bottoms first, wait for it to stick, wait for it to feel like it's got a nice even bite, apply pressure. And then, you know, wear them for, you know, three, four, five, six hours after you do the cushion grip. And you'll be good to go. Like I said, mine lasts a week. I would not gloop a whole bunch on there and cover the whole palette of the top and all that. Just go in the spots that that are loose. And it will, it will it'll go up and it, you'll figure out with the top if you need to put more and it needs to squish up onto that palette or if maybe you need to put a little bit on that palette, you know, you'll figure it out, just play with it, and you know, it'll work out. So, I uh, hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.